Now, we've, I've raced through that as fast as I could because what I wanted to do was connect those 12 chakras and connect each one to the cosmic chakra out there. So the stars, they are all cosmic chakras. And some of them might be the main ones and some of them might be like hand chakras or a small chakra. But when you connect your chakras to the different stars, you can then start to bring in the wisdom and energy from that particular star. And this will expand your aura, it will expand your possibilities for this lifetime. Also remember, I am placing an orb on each one. Now this is an orb of Archangel Sandalphon. When you look at that picture, you will receive Sandalphon's help and energy. But if you have a pic an orb of Sandalphon and you know somebody who's ungrounded, if you put their name and their or their photograph on that orb picture, Sandalphon will ground them. Now, one of my grandchildren was one of these very new children, very ungrounded, didn't know what she was doing half the time, couldn't focus or concentrate, very hyperactive. My guide asked me to put her photograph on an orb of Sandalphon to ground her and Jophiel to straighten her crown chakra and connect it up to her higher self. I did that. I didn't tell her mother. Within a week, her mother had phoned and said, Isabel is so different, I can't understand it. And she's never looked back. I still have her photograph on those orbs, and I bless them occasionally, but she is just a different child. And so, what I'd like you to do is just focus on that orb of Sandalphon, focus on your earth star chakra, which is beneath your feet, and connect out. We're doing the second one. We're not doing the planetary one. We're doing the cosmic one. Connect out to Neptune. And bring that energy from Neptune back into your earth star. And this is opening you up to bringing into your life the wisdom of Atlantis and Lemuria. <laughs> 